the 800 metres. Two laps of the track, the first lane, the first band run in lanes, and they break at the beginning of the back straight. Dragon of Norway has gone off fairly quickly, Co cruising up outside the rush, inside the Russian rather. Kirov is watching him closely. Also right there is Zivitic in the all-dark strip of Yugoslavia. And it's Co taking them on from the front. Co settled down in front, Kirov follows, and in third place, Harkonnen of Finland. Zivitic, the big Yugoslav, moves up on the inside, gets a clear run, but is possibly blocked there at the moment. Through 200 metres, and Co looking smooth as ever. Kirov, the Olympic bronze medalist for the Soviet Union, in second place. Zivitic is third. Fourth is Harkonnen of Finland. And fifth place, Bregen of Norway. And sixth, Timolenk of Turkey. As they come round towards the bell with about 60 metres to go to the end of the first lap. Co looking so comfortable on the curb there, trying to dominate the race in front, keep out of trouble, and it doesn't look very fast at all. Left of the speed man, and just inside, 55 at the bell. Co still leading. Kirov in second place, Zivitic is third. In fourth place now, Ignada for Bulgaria. Fifth is Harkonnen of Finland. Then Timolenk of uh, Turkey as they strike now at 300 metres. Co increasing the pace gradually and taking Kirov with him. Harkonnen of the blonde fin goes third. Zivitic is fading as now Kanneberg of Sweden comes through into fourth place. 200 to go and Co still making no effort to break them down. Co leads. Kirov, the Soviet Union Olympic bronze medalist, ready to attack off the bend. But Co usually has a change of gear at this stage. Harkonnen now clear in third place, the race between the three. And there goes Co, and he is in a different world. He's gone right away. Look at this. It is unbelievable. He's taken 15 metres practically in the last 80. Russia second, Finland third, Norway four, Turkey five, Sweden six, Yugoslavia seven, and Bulgaria eight. And that was a training spin for Sebastian Coe. And the distance he took out of the rest, and remember, that was an Olympic bronze medalist chasing him, well, to say the least, was quite incredible. Don't forget, Kirov was half a yard behind at the beginning of the straight, and he's between 12 and 15 metres back now as Coe comes through to hit the tape. His last lap, one, uh, 52.6, and the time just about 147.6. Obviously, fully recovered from the virus, and the rest of the field, well, made to almost look ridiculous.